Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking RO systems today, and in the event that you're only getting about one cup of water out of your tank, it's time to replace it. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, inside the kitchen now, and here's our reverse osmosis system, and unfortunately, our tank is not filling with water, and we have replaced a couple parts, hoping that those miscellaneous small and cheap price-friendly parts would fix the issue. However, they have not. Let me turn on a light here. And here is our tank. It's only a year and a half old. However, we let it sit overnight and it is completely empty. What we're going to do is replace the tank. First thing we can do, we're not going to actually shut off the water. We are going to unscrew the pre-filter. And some water in here. I'll just drain that out. Not much at all. Next, coming up top, just to ensure the system is completely drained, open up the faucet. Not a single drop is coming out. Oh, well, there it goes. And I'll let that sit for about a minute just to ensure again that the system completely drains. And it's been a minute. I'm going to shift this over the sink. I'm going to leave the faucet handle in the open position. Down below the RO filter or membrane, go ahead and carefully remove that. I may need both hands. I'll remove this first and then the post filter. And it will leak water. What I did next was place a towel underneath the filter case. You can actually do that first to catch all that water and soak it up. And now that the filter case is completely empty, faucet above is still in the open position. We can now remove the water line from the upper portion of the tank. And this is a press fit. And this little yellow circular push fitting, I'm going to push it down and simultaneously pull up on the water line. And I may not be able to do this with one hand. And it's very easy to remove these. Again, just push down on the fitting and pull up on the water line. If it's not doing it, pull up on the water line. It will actually raise this fitting up and then you can continue to hold that upward pressure with the water line and push this yellow fitting down and that should release it. From here, I'll pull this tank out. Old tank is removed and the new tank is sitting on top of our workbench. Let's head there. At the workstation now and DIYers, we are rebuilding a boat engine. This is a Merc Cruiser outboard. There's the upper unit and there's the lower unit that the prop connects to. However, back to it, here is the brand new RO tank and hopefully the fitting right here is the same size. If not, we may need to remove this and install it on the new tank. Old tank on the left, new tank on the right, and they are a different manufacturer brand and we called GE, wanted to order the exact replacement. However, they said $438. Went with a $40 tank off Amazon. And unfortunately, because we did that, this is a quarter inch connection for the fitting. And this is a 3.8. We are going to need to remove this, Teflon tape the thread, and install that fitting to the new tank. And DIYers, in the event that you have to do this, no worries. This is a pretty friendly and easy step. There it is. Let's just see if it is a perfect match. Oh, yes, it is. All right, we are going to clean out the inner thread. Teflon tape this and get this thing installed. Time to Teflon tape and there's a right way to do this and there is a wrong way to do this. DIYers, don't do it the wrong way, do it right. We need to apply this and wrap it in the same clockwise direction as we are going to tighten this fitting. And by doing that, as we tighten this fitting, it is not going to loosen the applied Teflon tape. If we apply it counterclockwise as we tighten this fitting on, it's going to loosen up the Teflon tape. And that's not good. And most people do about two to three times around the thread. And as you rotate around the thread, work it in and do your best to keep it tight and do not allow the Teflon tape to obstruct the hole that the water goes out of. Again, some people do about two to three times around. And again, it is not obstructing the hole. From here, we will carefully screw on this fitting. And I will tighten it just a bit with the adjustable wrench. Upper fitting is secured. Down below, I went ahead and removed the cap. I hooked up the bicycle pump. I need to realign it. It is leaking out a bit. And I'm going to use the bicycle pump to fill this tank to between 5 and 7 PSI. I've got it right at 6. And I will carefully screw that cap back on. 
Let's head back to the sink. Back down below the sink and there it is. The new tank is positioned. The water line is reconnected and secured to that fitting that we took off the old tank and installed on this tank. And again, between seven PSI, we've got it at six. And from here, we are going to sanitize the system because we have replaced a significant part of the system and that needs to be sanitized, which involves three sanitation filters and bleach and it cleans out the entire system both the filter case all the lines and the inner portion of the tank however we're not going to cover that in this video scrolling above is a link to a video where we show you how to sanitize the system definitely check it out you may find it very helpful quick update DIYs the sanitation filters are in place and the system is running and the tank is full an empty tank you'll know when it's empty it's very light that one's full and doing everything that the old tank was not doing at this point. So that's a good sign. At this point, the sanitation process is complete. The filters and membrane have been reinstalled and I let the system repressurize for about three to four hours. Big difference, what do you think? That is awesome. And we're gonna be able to fill up this entire mason jar and maybe two to three more. So we are happy. I'll turn that off. DIYers, hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And definitely check out the link scrolling above now. It will take you to our reverse osmosis playlist and a lot of helpful videos. Real quick, back to the tank and just verify you have no leaks as the system repressurizes. And I would check this maybe once every hour just to, again, ensure that your new fitting installed on your new tank is secured and not leaking.